This video is about the different types of iron. The reason that I put this symbol on here, this image, is to remind you of what iron is. Iron is an element, um, so you can't really represent it with any of the typical drawings that we do because it is just simply Fe. What I want to do in this video is acquaint you um, give you some visuals with the for the vocabulary uh, dealing with the different forms of iron and then I hope by the end of this you'll understand why foods that come from animals are a better source of iron um, than those that come from plants and why some of these tricks that you do to enhance iron absorption from plant foods works. So first of all, let's talk about inorganic iron. Um, iron exists in two different forms, in the oxidized form and in the reduced form. The oxidized form is called ferric iron, uh, and the symbol for it is Fe3+, and the reduced form is ferrous iron. I put the ferrous iron in green to emphasize that this is the form that we absorb the most evil easily. Um, since the oxidized form of ferric, of iron, ferric iron is found in plants, you can convert, though, uh, ferric iron into ferrous iron just by treating it with acid. So in the presence of acid, it is converted to ferrous iron. And this process happens in your stomach anyways because of the acid that's present in there. Um, but you can enhance that process and um, convert even more of it into the ferrous form uh, if you add acid to food that contains um, ferric iron. And that acid can be in the form of citric acid, acetic acid, which is vinegar, um, there's a lot of different acids that we typically incorporate into our foods. Okay, so the form of iron that we can ab absorb best is heme iron, and that is iron that is bound up in this structure um, that is called heme. Heme is formed when this molecule here, which is called protoporphyrin, combines with iron to form heme. This heme group then is used as a uh, cofactor or as a coenzyme for a whole bunch of different uh, proteins and enzymes within our body. For the purpose of this topic that we're um, dealing with right now, which is uh, embryonic development. The most important, some of the most important reasons that we need iron is because of the amount of synthesis of hemoglobin and myoglobin that has to take place in order to create um, a new baby, a new human being with an intact circulatory system and also um, to when uh, women are pregnant, their blood volume increases by about 50%, which is huge. And all of the extra um, red blood cells that are going to um, be part of that increased blood volume have to come from somewhere. So all of this heme has to be synthesized de novo, which requires a lot of iron. Now, um, while vitamin B6 supplements are not really um, part of the recommendations for women who are pregnant because we already get plenty of it in our diets, uh, vitamin B6 also plays a role here in this whole process because vitamin B6 is needed to synthesize this particular ring which then goes on to form heme. All right, so the reason that um, iron that comes from plant sources is absorbed less efficiently has to do with the carriers, the transport proteins that our intestines have. 
So um, there are two different transport proteins that can bring iron into the intestine, intestinal cells, and then from there, of course, they get passed on to the bloodstream. And that is the heme carrier protein 1, and this carrier, which is called DMT1. DMT1 stands for divalent metal transporter 1, and it is a transport protein that will bring across the membranes any of a number of divalent metals, namely, um, so in addition to iron, it will also bring in uh, copper and um, cadmium, which we, we don't want. Cadmium's bad. So um, this transporter here um, can get the iron, will get outcompeted um, by the other divalent metals in the diet. And so that's one reason why um, iron that comes in in the inorganic form is absorbed less efficiently is because of the competition. Um, the heme carrier protein 1, on the other hand, will only bring across the membrane iron if it's bound into a heme um, protoporphyrin ring. And uh, it is the only type of molecule that can make it across. And so there is no competition. Um, this is just a free way for iron only that comes through here. Um, all right, so there's lack of competition is part of the reason. The other reason is that when iron comes in in inorganic form from plant foods, unless you do this acid trick to try and get it converted early, it has to go an additional step to be converted from the 3 plus form to the 2 plus form. And that happens with a certain efficiency. It may or may not happen. This is the only form that can pass through the membrane. And so the, the fact that two steps have to happen and also that there is competition for this single carrier explains why iron absorption from plant foods is less efficient.